Why is it every time I come to visit, there's always a crisis? The Reverse Flash, Cicada, Savitar, Zoom. You know their names. They are the villains of The Flash, and in Season 6, they'll be adding to the ranks. Hi, and welcome to The Binger. The Flash's sixth season hasn't premiered yet, but we already have a trove of information on what to expect. Most importantly, we know who the big bad is gonna be, for the first half of the season anyway. In this video, we'll run through everything we know about The Flash's newest adversary and other information about the upcoming season. The very first trailer for Season 6 of The Flash explicitly focuses on the latest big bad, Dr. Ramsey Russo. For fans familiar with The Flash comics, that name should ring a bell. Russo is the alter ego of the villain Bloodwork, who was introduced in 2017. In the comics, Russo was a morgue attendant with severe hemophilia. He spends his free time experimenting with the red stuff that is such a pain for him. Eventually, his work leads to him developing superhuman abilities, including the ability to manipulate his namesake substance in other people's bodies. Like many a Flash villain though, the Russo that we meet in the show is going to be quite different from the one in the comics. In the series, Dr. Russo is a brilliant oncologist who is one of the world's foremost experts in hematological oncology. He's also a former colleague of Team Flash's Caitlin Snow. But when the pair reconnect, it ends up being a short-lived reunion. Things break down when Russo decides to pursue his desire to defy the laws of nature. The dark path that he's on leads him to becoming blood work. According to incoming The Flash showrunner Eric Wallace, the emotional journey that Barry Allen is on in this season runs parallel with Dr. Russo's. As a result, Russo is going to be the most personal villain The Flash has ever faced emotionally since Eobard Thawne. In other words, things are going to get dark. If that revelation weren't enough, the actor playing the new villain is Sandil Ramamurthy who's best known for a different superhero show. Back when superheroes on TV weren't a thing like they are today, Rama Murthy was one of the stars of the 2006 series Heroes. Although the show ended up fizzling out, the first season was spectacular, and Rama Murthy was a breakout as Mahinder Suresh. So Rama Murthy brings a lot of superhero cred to his role on The Flash. In addition to Russo, there will be a second major villain on The Flash this season, but we don't know exactly who that's going to be just yet. And there's a very good reason for that. For five seasons, The Flash has had one major villain per season. These big bads have been an integral part of the season-long story being told. Season 6, however, is taking a new approach. And much of the reason seems to be this season's highly anticipated five-way Arrowverse crossover event, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Essentially, the events of Crisis will be so earth-shattering that the reverberations will be felt after the crossover ends. To accommodate that, showrunner Wallace has said that the season will be divided into two parts, or what he referred to as graphic novels. So the big villain prior to Crisis on Infinite Earths in the first half of Season 6 will be Bloodwork. Meanwhile, the big villain in the second half of the season has yet to be announced. And since the second half of the season will deal with the fallout from the crossover, any villain revelation could be a spoiler. So we probably won't hear much about the second villain for the season until much later. The first half of the season will pick up 10 seconds after the end of Season 5, however. That means it'll do a deep dive into how Barry and Iris cope with the loss of Nora, their daughter from the future. One character we won't see at the beginning of Season 6 is the architect of Nora's erasure, Eobard Thawne. However, it has been revealed that Tom Cavanaugh, the actor behind Thawne, will be playing another character in the Arrowverse crossover. He's going to portray the villain Pariah a scientist and minion of the crossover's big bad, the Anti-Monitor. And it's the storyline involving blood work in the first part of the season that's going to lay the groundwork for Pariah's debut. That brings us to the trailer for Season 6 of The Flash, which is told entirely from Dr. Russo's point of view. 
In it, he makes it clear that everyone we think of as a hero on the show is a villain in his eyes. From Caitlyn to Sisko to Iris, he views each of Team Flash's members as a cancer. And there is no one that he sees as a bigger plague on the world than the superheroes that we've come to know and love. And that doesn't just include the Flash. It's anyone with meta powers, including Killer Frost and Elongated Man. So why does Russo hold such a grudge against superheroes? There's only one battle, one thing to fight against, and that's death itself. Uh-huh. Russo's ultimate goal is to ensure people can live forever. An outsized goal that may be well-meaning, but ultimately drives him to villainy. Throughout the trailer, Russo stands in the middle of a cemetery. It's possible that this means Russo lost someone important to him, leading to his desire to defy nature itself. Of course, Russo's declaration that he's going to put an end to the end of life becomes sinister at the end of the clip when his eyes turn black. That's followed by the Flash logo dripping in black goo. So whatever Russo's planning, it definitely seems like things are going to go horribly wrong. Another thing to note about the trailer is that it includes nods to the crossover and the newspaper headline that teases Barry's demise. The headline reporting The Flash's disappearance in 2024 was introduced in the first season of the show. Then, last season in the final few moments of the finale, the year of his disappearance changed to 2019. So the headline now indicates that The Flash will vanish during Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is something Barry and Team Flash will have to come to terms with in the pre-crisis half of the season. Whether or not Russo's work could impact Barry's fate in some way is anybody's guess, but it's certainly a possibility. That's what we know about the upcoming season of The Flash. There are some open villain related questions though. One of the biggest is about Godspeed a villain Nora defeated in the future in Season 5. However, photos from the set of Season 6 show Barry fighting with him. Huh? With Nora erased from the timeline, it's possible no one ever stopped Godspeed. How he and the Scarlet Speedster came to blows is unclear, but it seems that Godspeed could make it to present day Central City. There's also speculation that we could be seeing the Season 2 Big Bad Zoom again. At the end of the season, Zoom, or Hunter Zolomon, was sucked into the Speed Force and became the Black Flash. Now as an enforcer who goes after speedsters who toy with time, we could see Zolomon again as Barry attempts to subvert his fate. There are many current and former Arrowverse characters appearing in the coming crisis, so why not Zoom too? Are you looking forward to the new season of The Flash? Have your say in the comments section down below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to The Binger.